hello everyone so i came across this video and i decided to share these important information so this video is a guide highlighting what not to do for a smooth and healthy recovery of the c-section so let's dive into this video Four common things I would tell my patients not to do after having a C-section from a high-risk labor and delivery nurse. Number one, do not put anything in the vagina for at least six weeks. That includes tampons, intercourse, medications, diva cup. The reason for this is we are trying to reduce the risk of infection. Regardless of which way you gave birth, there is always going to be a risk of infection afterward. That's because the placenta, which is about the size of a dinner plate, was previously attached to the inner uterine lining. Once the baby is delivered, the placenta is now detached from the inner uterine wall, leaving an open wound the same size inside your uterus. While this is actually perfectly normal, it is an open wound that will be bleeding and slowly healing over the course of the next six weeks, which is why we want to avoid anything in the vagina until that wound is completely closed because any microorganism or bacteria that enters through the vagina could possibly cause an infection in that wound, infecting your entire uterus. And aside from the risk of infection, we really want to allow your body time to heal and recover after major surgery, your pelvic floor, your incision, all of that. Number two, no heavy lifting until your doctor says it's okay. Heavy in the medical world, do not laugh at me, is typically defined as 10 pounds or greater. Yes, I know there are plenty of babies out there that weighed at least 10 pounds. So obviously where you're lifting your baby, it's pretty much unavoidable. But any other time, we want to avoid lifting, squatting, especially heavy things. Anytime possible, have somebody bring the baby to you, hand them to you while you're seated. By avoiding heavy lifting, what we're really trying to do is protect your incision, the tissue, the muscles that was all just stitched back together. We want no further strain on the incision because that could increase the chance of it opening up, of it herniating, and causing further complications. Number three, no baths or sitting in any body of water until your incision is nice and closed or your provider says it's okay. Baths are great, but we are recycling the same water that we just scrubbed all of the dirt into. The last thing we want after you've just had surgery and you have a fresh incision is sitting in a pool of not super clean water. That includes hot tubs, lakes, pools, things like that. Number four, no driving if you're taking narcotics or any heavy pain medication. One common side effect in all narcotics is drowsiness. Everybody reacts differently to medication but we do not want you driving a car if you're drowsy from pain medication in addition to being sleep deprived because you just had a baby that you're now taking care of 24 7. On top of all this it's not ideal putting added strain on the incision in the position you'll need to be to sit up and drive safely and you can be a passenger it's easier to position yourself or recline a little bit to relieve some of the strain on your incision. For more information on pregnancy birth postpartum newborns give me follow check out my page.